Hey guys, this is Jacob here, and today we're reviewing the Halloween pumpkin. Let me fix that. It's an orange build. It's square, as you can see. Give you a 360 here. Whoa. There's some nice detailing at the top, using some slopes and some cheese slopes, and then you have green coming into dark green. I think that looks great. Then at the bottom we have a dark red base and some tan bricks supporting it all together. This is your Halloween pumpkin. Uh, this came out back in 2013, and I really wanted it. Never got it, surprisingly. But luckily, this 2014, I know it's 2015 now, but when it was 2014, around October, this set was re-released. I was able to pick it up from Toys R Us for five ninety nine. A bit inflated, but you know, hey, it's a set I've wanted for a while, and it's a seasonal item. So being able to find it a whole year later was quite nice. Now you can put this out in your Halloween displays, whatever you want. I really wouldn't give these away because they're so expensive. They were maybe like three bucks. I could see you maybe picking up a few of these and maybe giving them to a few trick-or-treaters, but at this price, I would not recommend it at that. And especially considering that this set is now discontinued, you're probably going to have to pay like 15 bucks for it. <laughs> yeah, I want to give this trick-or-treaters, because like for, like for just three of these, you can buy $45 worth of candy. $45. Consider that for a minute. $45 worth of chocolate. That's a lot of chocolate. That is a lot of chocolate. So I think you would certainly rather have $45 worth of chocolate rather than three of these guys. But that's, that's just my thoughts. And that was Jacob here. Jacob signing out for the review of the pumpkin. Not going to tell you to like, comment, or subscribe, because you've already done that. Thanks for watching.